Sudan! Sudan! Artists campaigning towards a goal that has so far evaded their politicians. And this young rapper starts with a condemnation of the top leaders for what he perceives as their failure to do the job. My residents be the two phone line, fake presidents made a decline. Sudan, never been Arab or African. It's a harmonized state of many different clans. Diversity creates a chance we should take to advance. It's perhaps one of the worst funded campaigns that ever existed. Most of the group members are unemployed and penniless. They usually need a sympathizer to buy the dyes they use in painting. And yet, these campaigners believe they can make their voice heard and hopefully save Sudan. They come from every ethnic group and from every corner of Sudan, but they all speak in one voice. They feel their country is under threat. If the South secedes, several other regions may try to follow suit, such as Darfur, Nuba Mountains, South Blue Nile and Ingasana. But I believe that a united Sudan is better for all of us. It will be stronger and richer and more diverse with all its races, cultures and religions. Santo, a southerner who is nearly broke, says his poverty has not dented his resolve to fight for the cause of unity. So you want Sudan to remain united? Yes. Why? Better we unite together and make solution for everything and everybody feel cool. Are you going to, to vote in the referendum? I'm voting here also. This, my painting will vote. <laughs> Even me, my voice will vote. My music will vote. And this young singer is from a generation of southerners whose families left the south because of war. Growing up and being educated here, they tend to be less separatist-minded than their brethren who remained in the south. I was born in Khartoum and I grew up there and I've never been treated by any northerner in a manner that made me feel different from him. So I think that whether from the south or from the north, we are all equal. The same applies to Charles, a more accomplished video clip singer also from the south. Yes. We have different colors and different language, but we are all Sudanese people. Charles and his colleagues know they are fighting an uphill battle. Over 50 years of ethnic hatred and bloodshed between the majority Arab North and the mainly black African South will be difficult to forgive overnight. But until southern voters decide, this group's members would like the magic of their art to be given a chance. Mohamed Vad, Al Jazeera, Khartoum.